elements of an effective lawn care website business. In the next few minutes, I am going to share with you how to instantly know if your lawn care website is effective at all. Then I will show you the four elements of a highly effective lawn care website. Finally, I will show you three examples of lawn care websites. We will see which ones are effective and which ones are not. So let's get started. How do you know if your lawn care website is effective? First, you need to be very clear about exactly what it is you want your website to do. Do you really know what you want out of your lawn care business website? Most lawn care business owners are coming at their website from this angle. I know I need a website or someone told me I should have a website. I mean, basically, they're just putting a site out there with no real plan for it. So there's no clear goal for the website. Is this you? If so, I want to give you the goal right now. It's actually pretty easy. Your lawn care website's number one goal is this, to bring you new prospects and customers. That's it. Okay, maybe you want to get really sophisticated and do some customer service and billing. That's fine, but the absolute number one goal should be to bring you new customers. So let's talk more about that. So an effective website is one that gets you new customers. The question now becomes, how do you build a lawn care site that is highly effective at getting new customers? Let's look at what you need to do. You need to provide a form to capture leads and prospects. You need to provide a compelling headline with a strong call to action, and I'll show you examples of those later, to actually get people to click on your buttons and actually get them to join and sign up on your site. Your site must collect the emails of every prospect and build an email list. Then you use the email list to contact these people over and over. That is the big trick. That's the one that everyone misses. It is the one thing that will make the biggest difference with the effectiveness of your website. It's just capturing emails, building an email list, and being to follow up with people. That's the important thing. Next. To be effective, your website needs to look really good, too. All things being equal, the site with the better design wins every single time. Remember this, do not skimp on web design. I see people do this all the time. Your site needs to look better than all the other ones in the cities you service. It needs to be really obvious to people that you're the number one choice. If it's not, they're just going to go with someone else. It's just that simple. The good news is it's not very hard or expensive once you know what to do. You can look every bit as good as a Fortune 500 company without spending a lot of money on your website. Next, think about how people are going to look at your website. Just look around next time you're out in public. Everyone is staring down at their smartphones. Think about this when you're out there and look at people and they're looking at their smartphones. Your site needs to look and work really well on iPhone and Android phones. That's critical because that's most likely how they're going to be engaging with your site. In the web design world, we call it responsive design. That's a fancy word. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, I just want to put that in there. I will cover that uh, more later when I talk about online advertising because you'll see why it's so important when we get into that. Just know for now, it's really important that it works on mobile devices. So to recap, the elements of a highly effective lawn care site are number one, it is a web form to gather leads and it builds you an email list. That's the number one thing your site needs to be doing for you. I'm gonna show you how to use an email list later uh, to really drive great offers and build up your business, but it's important that it creates an email list. Number two, it absolutely has to have the best web design and look extremely professional. Remember, it's simple best design wins, all things being equal. And number three, it needs to work really well on mobile phones because that's most likely how people are going to first engage with your site is that most likely on a tablet or on their smartphone. I will cover these more in other videos. These are just a starting point for you to start thinking about right now to get your head in the right direction when you look at websites. 
if you need help making a site like this, I can certainly help you out. Here's a URL you can go to. I'm gonna put it in the um, notes on this video. It's lawncarebusinesstips.com slash blog slash web design. You see, I've already figured out the offers, headlines, and layouts that already work because I've already done other lawn care websites. So you'll have a real leg up over using like a regular web design agency because they're not gonna know these things and it's gonna get expensive making changes with them as you slog around trying to figure it out what actually works. Uh, so you'll end up saving a lot of money too. And there's a link, you can write it down or click on it. There's a little contact form and you can get a hold of me and I can help you uh, either start a site or make the one you have even better. So let's take a look at some uh, lawn care websites right now. We're gonna look at three of them and see how effective they are. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to look at three websites with you. And what I did, I went to uh, Google and typed in lawn care service, Columbus, Ohio. Completely random, just wanted to pick a random city in one of the states in the country. So I went there and grabbed three websites and I wanted to look at the three and let's see if we can find out which one has the most elements we just talked about. So here's the first one. And when I look at this site, what jumps out at me right away is that they offer something for $29. I see a little um, link here that says estimate request form. Well, so they're kind of on the right thing. They know they need to request an estimate. So if I click on that, it takes me in and then I see a really rookie mistake here. They ask for a lot of different information. And if you do this, what you're gonna find out is the more stuff you ask people for, the less likely they are to fill out a form like this. So since this is a pretty involved form, you're gonna need somebody that really, really, really wants to do business with you. And I think this form probably isn't very effective for them. When I look around on the site, the, the layout is, it's okay. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be the best, uh, but it's decent. They got their phone number up here and a nice logo. And then they have a bunch of stuff of what they do, which I'm guessing is to build some credibility and just some general feel good about their site. They list all the cities they service, that's good. Um, but in general, I don't think this site has very many of the uh, features we talked about. I don't think it's going to look very good on a mobile phone, but I could be wrong about that. Um, so let's take a look at another one. Um, here's another one I picked up. It's called Why Good Nature. And this site um, kind of looks better than this one, don't you think, when you look at it? Uh, what jumps out at me is a, they have a nice graphic up here. I'm going to talk about that more on the next site, but graphics can really help your website out. They have a, uh, a YouTube video they did. So this company to me looks like they've actually put a lot of work into their website. I see they've, um, uh, they've got a lot of different links up here. Um, they've got about us, they got different services. So they've got a lot to their site. Um, and then in the middle, what they have is request a quote. They've done the same thing these guys have done here but they're doing it with a button. So I think that's slightly better. Uh, another tip for you guys is text is a really bad selling tool and you wanna use more graphics, less text, even video works better than text. So high converting sites are usually, you're gonna know they don't have a lot of links and they don't have a lot of text. What they do have is a lot of pictures and a lot of call to action. So this one I would say is slightly better. Um, when I click through here, I see they have a form. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than the other form, but still I think it has too many fields and the uh, rate at which you get people to submit these forms is probably gonna be low. And I don't think the form's laid out really well on the page, but it does, it does have an 800 number here, which is pretty nice. So let's look at our third website here. And we're gonna look at weedpro.com. And when we look at this site, I think this is the best website and I think it's the best website because when I look at it I see a very clear call to action get a free estimate there's a headline get started it has a call to action in the button when I look at the form I see one two three four five six so they've really tried to limit the number of fields here and it has another call to action to fill out a form it has a picture here 
and the picture is hugely important. Look at the picture they have. When you put a picture on your website, you want the result that the customer expects to get. People signing up for lawn care, the result is almost always they want to enjoy their lawn with their family. What do we have here? We have a picture of a family enjoying their lawn with a nice headline, spend less money on your lawn and more time enjoying it. That's a great, powerful headline. So when I look at this site, what I want to do is I tend to want to come in here and fill it out to get an estimate. This is a pretty well designed site. It's a little busy down here. I don't know if I would have all this down here because I think you're going to lose people. Um, another thing it has up here which is neat is the free download, the six things you need to know when hiring a lawn care company. Look at this. When I click this, that's an opt-in offer to start getting me more emails. They're building a list with this. That's the exact kind of thing you need to be doing with your site is doing things to get people to sign up to your email list so you can email them over and over and eventually close them. Uh, so they have actually two email captures here, an 800 number up here. I think that if I was to buy traffic and send it to this site, number one, this site, number two, or this site, number three, I would see a lot more signups. I would get a lot more leads from this third site just because how it's designed and just because what they're trying to do, it's very obvious to me what they're trying to do is to generate leads. Whereas these guys, it seems like that's maybe what they want to do, but the site is probably not very effective at it. So that's how you can kind of go around and tell the difference on websites. And when you think of your site, look at this third one your goal should be something very similar to this and if you're having trouble coming up with that i've got pre-done websites that i can um, set up for you they're going to look a lot like this i didn't want to show it in the video um, i want to give you examples of other sites that are out there but i can get you a site that looks pretty much like this and actually look a little bit better um, for not a lot of money so if you're interested in that um, you can look at the bottom of the video and uh, I'll include a link where you can go and hire me to help you out with that. So in closing, um, remember the elements we talked about and try to make sure that your website converges into something like this. It needs to look good. It needs to capture emails. It's super important to get you new leads and it needs to look good on a mobile phone. I don't know if this one does or not, but in any case, my name is Brian Fleming. Stop on by LawnCareBusinessTips.com if you want any more lawn care tips like this. And I'll be making some more videos for you soon. Take care.